Why did some planes have a third engine mounted on their tail? Let me explain. In the 1960s and 1970s, jet engines weren't as powerful as the ones we use today. Aircraft like the Boeing 727, McDonnell Douglas DC-10, and Lockheed L-1011 TriStar needed extra thrust for takeoff, cruising, and long flights. Instead of four engines, adding a third engine was a more efficient solution to meet these needs. However, placing the third engine on the tail came with practical benefits. It allowed for a cleaner wing design, reducing drag and simplifying the structure of the aircraft. For planes like the Boeing 727, the tail-mounted engines provided balance and let the aircraft operate from shorter runways, which was perfect for smaller airports. The T-tail design also helped separate engine exhaust from the airflow over the wings, improving aerodynamic performance. And in some cases, the placement helped reduce cabin noise, making flights slightly more comfortable for passengers. But this design wasn't without challenges. Accessing the tail engine for maintenance was more difficult. As engine technology improved, two engines became powerful enough to do the job of three.